I'm Bobby. I'm Brent. And you're watching... Learning with Bobby and Brent. <laughs> Welcome to today's episode of Learning with Bobby and Brent. What's up, guys? Today on our show, we're going to show you how to do a cool whip transition. So we actually created this whip transition on our own. Unfortunately, it doesn't come with Premiere. <sighs> yeah, I know. You know, I know. Sometimes I think Premiere is just trying to hold us down. They have a, they really have it out for us. They the, do. The people at Premiere, the, just the people in general. They the people. Are, they they are the one percent holding the ninety nine percent down. Yeah, you know they. Yeah, them. them. <laughs> us and them. Us and them. It's we're, clearly uh, Premiere is clearly them. We're us. And they're you're us. They hate us. They but clearly hate it. They're they can't the hold who, us down. If I've ever learned anything from Christina Aguilera, it's that nothing can bring me down. Because you're beautiful. Oh, no, no, no. no. <laughs> Cut They're actually the Cut ones in. who uh, gave me the uh, eye patch. Oh, okay. Yeah, exactly. Yeah, it was unfortunate. S -s -s Rapid recovery, though, I gotta say. Yeah, I know. I mean, you know, just time heals. Time heals all wounds, you know, words, apparently. Words can't bring me down. Words can't bring you down. Not today. And neither can... Premiere. <laughs> premiere. <laughs> Big premiere. All right, so let's show you how to do this motion blur. Um, whip transition effect. Yeah, let's dive right in. So we made videos on motion blur before. Mm-hmm. You can check that out um, up here in up the card. Up here in the card. Or over here. I think it'll be up in this corner. Wherever the cards are. Yeah. We made a video on uh, motion blur. And basically what you can do is you can recreate motion blur in Premiere by taking the transform effect and changing a few of its uh, attributes so that it basically makes it look like a motion blur. You don't say. You don't say. I do say. I say and I do declare. I do declare. I do spit everywhere. <laughs> so what are we going to do first? We are going to select our footage that we want to whip transition. And we're going to bring it into Premiere. Cool. So here we are with this nice shot of driving there. Yeah. The nice truck. Look at that motion. And that motion of the... our second shot is this... Nice shot of Sparky to Supercharger. Yeah. So the way we like to think about it is you want to have the first video um, as video A and the second video as video B. Makes sense. And you want the transition Alphabet. from A Numbers. to B. Alphabets. Numbers. Soup. Sequential. You know, I used to think that Elemento was one letter <laughs> when I was yeah. a kid because I thought it was an Elemento. Yeah, Elemento. I used to think of Elmo. Well, it turns out that that's actually kind of like the secret letter of the alphabet oh, that people don't know about. Elemento? Yeah. Um, the government doesn't want you to know about Elemento. Is that why they hide it right in the middle? Yeah, exactly. Right in plain sight? Right in plain sight. <laughs> <laughs> exactly. Because I can't help myself. I, I just like love talking about the government. Brent. <laughs> do do <it>. Cut. <laughs> gonna get us in trouble here oh boy them they are gonna get yeah, we're mad lucky. i mean last time we just barely survived that drone attack yeah i know right oh i can't believe we made it out that's of that actually probably the reason why you had the eye patch so we have video a right here okay and video b right here sick so we're going to first show you how to create the motion blur effect because okay. we like to use motion blur in our whip transitions yeah so we're going to search for our effect transform and there it comes it up under distort so let's just drag it onto one of our videos here. Go to our effects controls. Let's open that up. Yeah. So here under the transform controls, uh, we're gonna want to go down to our shutter angle and type in 180. Now what we're gonna wanna do is we're going to unselect this box right here that says use compositions shutter angle. We have our transform effect and now if we change the position or scale, it's going to create a motion blur. So what we're gonna to wanna to do is we're going to want to create the position changes within the transform effect to create that cool motion blur. Like it's whipping past your face. Move. Exactly. Like do this in front of your face and look at what your hand looks like. You want it to look like that in your video. So it's gonna look really organic, it's gonna look beautiful. We're going to select our position stopwatch here and create a keyframe. <laughs> we're going to want this video to whip out to the right and we're going to want video B to whip in from the left. So cool. we've created our keyframe here, and now we're going to go, this is a very important part. We're going to- Listen up, to, if, if you stop paying attention, focus up right now. Yeah, this is crazy right now, focus. What have you been doing this entire time? Pay attention. 
Class. Okay, so we're going to want to go to the end of this video. Okay. And now this is very important. When doing a whip transition, you want to make sure that everything lines up perfectly. Yep. So in order to uh, remember how we want the second transition to start, we're going to hit the shift button. Okay. And we're going to hit the left arrow twice. So what that's going to do is it's going to set us back 10 frames. Okay, so the shift click does uh, five frames each. Yeah, each cool. shift click is five frame jump. Nice. Uh, if you just click the arrow by itself, that's one frame. Okay. And so we're basically 10 frames back from the end of this clip now. Awesome. And we want this to be the point where it starts to transition out. Cool. So we're gonna drag our first keyframe there and then we're going to go to the end of the video. And for some reason in Premiere, you can't see the last frame um, while editing. So you're gonna wanna create the keyframe earlier on in the timeline and, and then we'll drag it later. We'll scoot it over. So we're gonna wanna take our position here and we're going to drag it to the right by selecting the text and dragging it. And we're gonna drag it to basically the point where the video is no longer on screen. So we're going to go to our first keyframe here and we're going to right click, we're gonna to go to temporal interpolation or interpolation. Yeah, you interpret how to interpolation to ter interpolate. <laughs> you got it. It was good, it was worth doing the joke over again. Yeah, I stopped recording, we had to redo the joke. Yeah. It's, it's worth it. <laughs> so we're going to go into our temporal interpolation and we're going to go down to ease out. And what that's going to do, if you haven't seen our videos about easing in and easing out, card. You get another card up here. Um, Wherever. I think it's actually here. Our, our our screen is flipped on the camera right now, yeah. so everything is all messed up. We don't know where it is, but up you is can down, see it. left is right, right is wrong. Yeah. You know. Brent is Bobby, Bobby is Brent. Yes. So basically, we made a video about that. You can check it out there. It's uh, going to take the video and it's going to ease into a transition here. All right. Or ease out. Ease this, out of a transition yeah. here. Sort of like easing out for the takeoff and you can ease in for the landing. Sort of yeah. like a plane. It's like a plane. It's like a plane. I like, I like that yeah. analogy. It's a good one. Yeah. So now we're going to take our keyframe and we're going to drag it to the very end of the clip there so that everything is lined up perfectly. Let's check it out. Okay. Nice. There it is. So it does a nice whoosh there. So now what we're going to want to do is we're going to want the video B to whip in from the left, basically matching this transition right here. Makes sense. So we're gonna do something very similar. So right now we're going to click our transform effect that we created, and we're going to command C, copy it, and we're going to click on video B, and we're going to paste it there in video B. So now let's delete those keyframes because we don't want the same ones. Yeah, we really just want the, uh, tra the uh, motion blur effect that we created in transform. Yeah. That's the only part that's important right now. Yeah, we don't really need all those keyframes. We just want the effect. So let's go to the beginning of this video. And now, if you remember a little earlier, we hit uh, shift arrow twice to the left. So now mm -hmm. what we're going to do is we're going to do the same thing, but we're going to do shift right arrow. So we're going to hit shift and we're going to do right arrow twice. And that'll bring us 10 frames into this video. And we're going to create our position keyframe here. So that is now going to set the point in the video at which this transition has finally stopped. So now we're going to go back to the beginning and just like in the other one, we're going to take our position and we're gonna move our video to the left here so that basically it starts in from the side and ends up right there. So now what we're going to want to do is we're also going to want to ease out so that it matches the keyframes from the other video that we did. Mm -hmm. And now what you'll get is two identical, identically timed whoosh transitions. Now you'll notice that there's this black space in the middle that we don't want. So what we're going to do is we're going to take our video A and we're gonna drag it up a layer. And we're gonna zoom in here right to the seam in the middle where the videos match. Yep. And we're going to hit shift and left arrow twice. And that's gonna bring us exactly 10 frames back to where the transition starts. Now we're going to take the audio for video A and we're gonna drag it down a layer. And we're going to select video B 
and we're going to bring it back to that point in the timeline where 10 frames starts. So that's uh, that's the whip transition right there. It cool. looks pretty good. Yeah, I'm liking it. That's it, basically. And there's actually an easier way to apply this effect. What you can do is you can actually save what we just did as a preset so that you can use it again. And you won't have to go in and, and adjust Manually those make it every single time, yeah. Because, I mean, once you kind of got it where you want it, like we have right here, it's way easier to just create the presets and just drop it on your video. And clips. then line it up. Yeah, it's so much easier that way. It's a, this is a nice transition. You're probably going to want to use it more than once. So if you select the video, uh, let's start with video A here. You can see that the keyframes are basically attached to the end of the clip here. Mm -hmm. So we're going to right click on our transform effect. We're going to click save preset and we're going to call it with A. We've already saved it in our presets, mm -hmm. so we're not actually going to click OK. This is just for you. Mm -hmm. uh, but you, what you'll want to do is label it as Whip A yep. so that you know that it's for the first video cool. in the transition. Mm -hmm. And what you're going to want to click Anchor to Outpoint. And what that's going to do is it's basically going to anchor the keyframes to the very end of the video so that gotcha. at the end of your video, the transition is going to Whip Out. Cool. So Anchor to Outpoint. And OK, we're going to click cancel because we already have it. And then you're going to basically do the same thing for video B. Save preset, name it Whip B. And this time you're going to select anchor to in point because as you can see here, our keyframes are at the very beginning of the effects timeline. Gotcha. That is how you do a whip transition from scratch. Awesome. And how to save it and how to be Bobby and Brent. Yeah, because that, clearly that's what everyone wants, finger right? Finger tutting. Yes, is it what everybody wants. I'm just like mesmerized right now. I don't even know what you're doing, but I'm loving it. It's called finger tutting. It's like finger dancing. Oh. Maybe next week we'll do a tutorial on how to do finger tutting. Oh, look at that, Brent. I'm like mesmerized right now. I can't even believe what I'm watching. All the out. <gasps> We should have been just doing this the whole time. I don't know why we even do Maybe, video editing yeah, tutorials. I mean, yeah, honestly. We, we should, have so many more skills. We should really just be doing that. Okay, bye. Learning with Bobby and Brent. <laughs> I'm a little bit in a rush because I got to pee. Yeah, he's so. a Russian. I'm trying and then to soon he'll be a European. It thing. was, actually. Um, they hit me in the eye with uh, the drones. They being Jeff Bezos from Amazon. Well, we can't say who they are. Oh, sorry. We don't yeah. know their names. We're, we're actually going to bleep that. Jeff Bezos is a puppet. Yeah, and that's gonna Trust get bleeped too. All you know is someone's a puppet. All you're gonna hear is beep, 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 beep. <laughs> this entire episode is redacted. <laughs> hey guys, I'm Bobby. <laughs> do not, do not watch the rest of the video. I think some of the people watch our channel are probably happy about that.